Penn, Syracuse is now in the Big East. But a whole new generation of fans love Penn State football as much as those who watch the earlier battles. The highlights of the latest Rumble are presented by Penn State World Campus. Penn State, anywhere, anytime, online. The 70th meeting of Penn State and Syracuse started with a lion's roar. First and 10 at their own 43. Throws near side, complete to Davon Smith, steps inside 45, swings near side to the corner to the 48-yard line. He picks up five on the play. It's one setback, that's Royster. Royster on second and six, swings it near side 45, 50, Syracuse 47-yard line. That's where he stepped out of bounds. Royster in motion away from us, two receivers near side. Suey's the lone setback. Mark Short drop, he throws a dark complete to Royster, 35, 30, Evan, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Penn State, a 49-yard quick strike from Darrell Clark to Evan Royster. Joe Paterno talked about Evan Royster might be lining up in a slot formation sometimes. He's that good a receiver. It was the longest reception of Royster's career, and he was on his way to a career high in receiving yardage. Now it was time for the Penn State defense to put their squeeze on the orange. Hollis, short drop, pump fake, pump fake again, steps off, and down he goes. Jared Andrick back at the 39-yard line. And the speed of the Penn State defense brought him down. Penn State started their second drive, backed up at their own four-yard line. But Big Ten co-offensive player of the week, Daryl Clark, picked up right where he left off in week one. At one point, he completed eight straight passes while moving the Lions from one end of the field to the other. Graham Zug would be one of his favorite targets all afternoon. Pressure, rolls far side, throws far side, high in the air, Zug makes the catch at the 33, steps out of bounds to the far side at the 37-yard line, a first down for Penn State. What? A little jumper over the middle, Royster's got it. Another first down as he lunges ahead to midfield. That's the thing about the Penn State offense. When you have Suey in the lineup along with Evan Royster, you can end up being a really good passing attack. Powell breaks a tackle 40, 35, 30, first down, Penn State. Had to make one guy miss, and he did. Stephon Green kept the Syracuse defense honest on the ground, and the Nittany Lions dominated the first quarter, with Syracuse running just four plays from scrimmage. Penn State put together an impressive 17-play, 94-yard drive that would have been perfect had they scored. But after a first and goal at the two, they would be turned away on fourth down on the first play of the second quarter. They had first down and goal just outside the one. Clark was just stopped. Loses the football this time, and Syracuse is going to take over. Syracuse keeps Penn State out. After having the ball more than 12 minutes of the first quarter, Penn State led just 7-0. But good teams recover from mistakes by using all facets of their game, and the Nittany Lion defense stepped up. Ball back up the middle, down he goes, maybe a half-yard loss. What a great effort by this Penn State defense. I mean, that front four just a, gets penetration on every play, and it starts with those two big guys in the middle. Dances around, in trouble, down he goes at the nine-yard line. They'll have to kick it away as Jerome Hayes made the stop for the Nittany line. Clark then showed some senior leadership, actually graduate student leadership. He knew they left some points on the field with the previous fumble. Despite working with three new starters in front of him on the offensive line and an entirely new group of starting wide receivers, his early season accuracy has been a thing of beauty for all Penn State fans. Clark's under center. Royster far side, turns oh, the corner it. to the 10, to the far corner five, touchdown, Penn State, 12-yard run for Evan Royster, plowing the road, Dennis Landolt. And you saw that as soon as the handoff was to Royster, you knew he was going all the way for the touchdown. And Syracuse offense has been rather insignificant in the first half. It's been this Penn State defense and some poor field position. Going nowhere there. Linebacker Josh Hall led Penn State with eight first half tackles, but this was a group effort that for the second straight week kept the enemy scoreless in the first half. The gang tackling continued in the second half with Sean Lee showing everyone again what they missed last year when he was out all season with a knee injury. Play action, Clark rolls far side, chased by Suter, throws, complete to Corliss over the 35, and a first down, 10.51 to go in the third, and they're on the march again. Okay, this is something maybe Clark would not have done last year. He threw this ball to Zuck before he came out of his break on the outside this time. 
good timing between a quarterback and his wide receiver. Derek Moy with the catch. They move the chains, and then the Lions stay on the march now, six of eight on third down. Boy, just to teach a wide receiver to come back to the football game. A lot of time. Over the middle. Caught. Touchdown. Penn State grabs Zog. And the Mitney Lions now lead it 20 to nothing. Zog would have a career high six catches in the game. A former walk on who earned a scholarship with hard work and a big reason Penn State enjoyed a three touchdown lead. And the defense had no notion of allowing that to change. Even when Syracuse finally penetrated the red zone, Penn State turned them away frustrating former Duke point guard quarterback Greg Paulus time and again to the approval of more than 106,000. Play action, now being chased by Lee, and down he goes back at the 37-yard line. Lee was omnipresent and led a Penn State defense in tackles, a defense that set up the Lions' final touchdown. Back goes Paulus, looks far side, deflected in the line of scrimmage and intercepted Stupar. 15, 10, 5, Stupar down inside the 5 at the 2-yard line. The ball deflected at the line of scrimmage that time. Boy, Audrick just jumped up in the air. The low, the low pass that time. Audrick got his right hand on the football, deflected it up, and, and Stupar makes the deflected interception out in the flat. The Lions' ground game struggled to its lowest output in three seasons, just 79 total yards but they more than made up for it through the air, as Daryl Clark has now thrown 10 touchdown passes over his last three regular season games. Clark rolls near side, Schuler's open, touchdown, Penn State! The interception by Stupar is cashed in. Clark had another game worthy of Player of the Week attention. Although it would be incorrect to say Penn State is operating at mid-season form, but they're doing what they have to to win with a defense that's been smothering. Josh Hall added another interception late in the game, helping seal the deal on another chapter in a classic rivalry.